Hey everybody, Riot Mort here, back with another pre-recorded video from the PBE, um, since I haven't streamed yet. Looking at our portals here, we have Piltover the University, which I believe is the all prismatic that everyone seems to really want, uh, Yordle portals, and Maris Omegnum. So you can see here it's kind of six to one, so it seems pretty likely we'll end up in the University. Uh, yep, sure enough, University, all right. so. This is a pretty wild one. This leads to some pretty crazy games because as I s believe, and I'll inspect it here, we get uh, all prismatics. Now, this was when legends were working. Uh, so we go with the earth legend. And yeah, so we know we're gonna get prismatic, which means we know we can get ancient archives too. And we get a Piltover champion right off the bat. So I'm thinking Piltover because of my addiction to gambling and everything like that. Not really, but. Uh, I'm thinking Piltover here, so we're hoping we can get a lot of Piltover units. Uh, nothing too crazy here. We get a Garen, grab some units. Nothing too wild here. I'm not a big fan of Garen early, and I'm not really planning around this, so... My guess is we'll sell the Garen here, and we will try to buy the Choga. Yep, there we go. Alright, looking for some good items here, hopefully. Okay, now again, because of Legends, we can sort of predict one of our Augments and this combination here. We do get a two-star Viego, at least it's a two-star. Uh, I always like putting in Cho'Gath early, by the way, in case you get a stack. Although this Mort guy doesn't seem to want to do that. Because um, you can get stacks off PvE rounds for Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath, uh, he'll eat people, and if it gets the kill, he gains permanent HP. Uh, can be really, really strong here, so. Instead, we just put in some one-star units. What do we get here? Armor. So nothing too great on the item side. We're probably not locking in Shroud. Ooh, we do get the Rek'Sai, though, which does give us three Void if we want it. All right, sure enough, there's our Earth and there's our Legend. Void Soul. See, now, Void Soul we almost could consider, but I'm, I'm playing real greedy here. I really want that Piltover. I, I'm, it's PBE. Let's have some fun with it. If it, if it were a, a normal game, I'd probably take Void Soul here. But Ancient Archives gives us that gold. Gives us the two tomes. Okay, there's one Piltover. That's good. And... Okay. So, we just high rolled out of our mind. Getting two Piltover emblems means it is going to be possible to go uh, six Piltover pretty early. Which is pretty bonkers. Uh, this is probably about as high roll as you can get. Uh, and we're gonna be able to play with both summons. We've got the Void Summon, and we've got the T-Hex. So this is pretty wild. Now, for those who don't know, Piltover is very much like Fortune. Your goal is to lose every fight. Uh, the more you lose, the better it gets. Unfortunately, we are gonna win this fight here. This person didn't really put anything in. So, not great for us. At least you still get one power when you win, but you really wanna lose with Piltover. You want to get a big loss streak and cash it out. So, now the other big thing to note here is we have 10 gold already, so our economy situation's good, our trait situation's good. As long as we play this right, this should be a pretty bonkers high roll. Hopefully we can hit, uh, so yeah, you can see now we have one power, that's the second number there. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy here. Hopefully we can hit like Cho 2 pretty quickly here. Um, Vi is going to be good. They'll give us more bruisers. I love that the trait web, by the way, here is just perfect. Three Piltover, three Void, two Bruiser, two Sork. Nothing left over. Perfect trait web. Let's go. All right. People in the lobby are starting to notice. They're pinging my board. Pretty wild. Now, it is a prismatic lobby. So, like, this is an example of a fight. We would expect to lose this fight. They've got Void, they've got items on people, they've got that Radiant Thieves Gloves. If I don't lose here, I'm going to be very sad. Rek'Sai, chill. Rek'Sai, chill. Okay, three unit loss? Could have been better. Oh, shame we couldn't chill, kill the Cho here. Nope. Okay. So three unit loss, and so now what you'll see on our T-Hex for Piltover is that he'll gain a charge. Yep, so now he's got two charges. And again, the more charges you get, the bigger that cash out. So... Good news is our gold situation is good with 22 gold. 
bad news is we have no two stars. But again, if we're trying to lost streak, that's what you want to do. Prismatic Lobby should help us lose streak. It's not like we have a ton of power here with our one star units, but yeah. And so again, that's kind of the nice thing about Legends is you can pick a style you like. In my case, trying to gamble for those Piltover emblems and you can play around it. So unfortunately this board looks pretty weak. I'm a little worried we're gonna win this. They do have a two star Cho, but they slam no items. Oh no. And Oriana did work. Ah, oh, so, okay. So we're not getting Lost Streak here. This isn't great. You don't really want to go win-loss, win-loss when playing Built Over. You want to get a big Lost Streak. So not a great start for us, unfortunately, despite the cool high roll of emblems. Stupid PBE lobbies being too weak. Oh, that's sad. That's sad. All right. So item-wise, probably looking for tank items to not slam anything. There's no good void units here. Doubt we want the spatula. What are we gonna grab here? We're gonna grab a three cost, nope, two cost tier. Okay, that gives us a blue buff option if we want it. Um, could also be the protector's vow, the hodge, there are a bunch of options here. Okay, we get another Rek'Sai. So a lot of pairs here. We could sell the uh, Renekton to hit 30. So again, plenty of gold. We won a loss streak. Unfortunately, since we only had one loss, we only gained two energy on our T-Hex. So our T-Hex is now up to three energy. Not great there. So. Now, this was recorded, by the way, Thursday. Uh, so there have been a lot of balance changes since then. For example, Piltover 6 got nerfed. Void got some adjustments, but... You know, not too far off. On the other side, we see somebody else who got Piltover and Bastion. So they didn't get quite as lucky with theirs. Uh, again, hopefully their board looks pretty strong here. That Echo doing some good work. No, unfortunately, it looks like I'm going to win this. Ah, stupid. Wait, wait, maybe? Jinx, you got me? Nope. I don't think Oriana 2 can solo this. Oriana really bad in these situations because all she can do is self shield. So, man, win streak rough. You try to play weak and it's not enough. I probably could have taken out Malzahar and not played Void, but I am preserving health, I suppose. Sorry, good song. All right. So not quite going as well as we'd want. We haven't seen any other Piltover, but by getting two emblems, again, if we can find Jace, Vi, and one more, I believe Echo, Jace, Vi, Echo, we could hit six Piltover early and six Piltover is pretty wild. So across the way, we see somebody playing Hedge Fund. They've got a bit more units than we do, but not as good a front line. So doing a scout around looking, a lot of Tom Kench's. PBE players really like Tom Kench. A lot of greed. Can we kill that Oriana? Nope. Oh, five unit loss. Ouch. Big damage. Big damage. Not great. All right. 40 gold, though. Money situation's good. Okay, we find an Echo. So that's gonna be our fourth Piltover. By the way, the T-Hex has two range with that Gatling gun arm. So you can put it in the back line. It doesn't have to be a frontliner, uh, which is not bad. Definitely I'm gonna wanna pick up this Echo here cause that'll give us, you know, four Piltover. We're trying to hit six Piltover here. That's gonna be our high roll win condition. The sooner we can hit that, the better. Ooh, a lot of orbs here. Armor. Okay, champ duplicator is good here. We can power up our Rek'Sai, our Echo. It's looking like very AP heavy items. Jeweled Gauntlet, Hodge, Bramble. But again, we also don't want to slam items that much because we'd like to lose a little bit more. Maybe get up to like a four loss streak or something. 
Okay, again, a bunch of pairs. We have a lot of pairs here. And we know the augment's going to be prismatic, so it should be pretty wild. Now, the thing is, Rek'Sai is not really a tank. Rek'Sai is an AD carry, so we're actually kind of lacking frontline right now. Uh, so hopefully we're weak enough. Again, plenty of gold, but hopefully we're weak. Let's see what we're up against here. Okay. Their Cho'Gath looking strong. Yeah, I expect us to lose this here. That'll give us some more charges. Looking good. Okay, three unit loss. Not bad. Their Cho'Gath's getting very big here. So they've been able to stack it, whereas I have not with my one star Cho. Okay, no big deal. Do, 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 All right, big grab bag, unified resistance, dedication. Okay, dedication here. If we get in five Piltover, it will give us another Piltover emblem. So that's looking pretty spicy here. That's really good. We should double check the others first. Nothing crazy here. Yeah, it's going to be dedication. So if we can just find one more Piltover, because Echo is going to be four here. If we can find a Jace or a Vi as quickly as possible, there's the Vi. We now have five Piltover. And what's going to happen is dedication is going to give us on the next round our six Piltover. So congratulations. We just got six Piltover, which is insanely hard to get on 3-3. Three, three. This is about as high roll as it gets as far as emblems go. So lucky me. Normally six Piltover is very hard to hit because you need an emblem and a five cost. But it turns out if you get three emblems, you can hit it pretty early. So again, we're hoping to lose here. Keep that streak going. Uh, we don't want to take too much damage, but congratulations. Six Piltover coming in hot. Whew. By the way, I misspoke at the beginning. The portal was apparently first augment is prismatic, not all augment prismatics. I got it confused. All right, there's Jace. There's our Piltover emblem. There's six Piltover. Okay, so six Piltover. Every turn you get a bonus orb now. So like I said, this is a pretty big high roll. And every loss counts as two losses. So if we can lose like three or four times, life is going to be good. Instead, I decided to try to just preserve health, knowing that we're going to get a bunch of power through these items. Um, so with six Piltover, you can do that. You can do some pretty wild stuff here. Let's see what happens. Again, if we lose, great. If we win, start preserving health. It's not like we're that strong, but thankfully on the other side, the opponent's still going for their six voids, so they're not that strong either. Does look like we're going to win this fight. All right. So yeah, that's going to give us our T-Hex a little bit more power and we're going to get stacking here. So again, six Piltover says every bonus, gain a bonus loot every round. So every round we're going to get an orb with some stuff in it. And then in addition, the T-Hex will stack even faster on losses. So... All right, item-wise, looks like we're going to be playing around Echo for a while. So we'll have to look into that. Let's see what we get here. We get a rod here, which is going to be good. That's going to allow us to put some more AP on that Echo. Pretty happy with that. We could go Ionic Spark. But our T-Hex is going to convert that six charges into energy. And so that'll get pretty big. Now, it's a matter of if we wanted to stay or transition. And I think for now we want to stay. So. Should be good. We already touched our bonus orb, by the way. It was hard to see because we passed through it there. But we got a nice component. We got a free rod. So 
so no complaints there. And you can see our T-Hex is now up to 10 energy, so it's leveled up to 2 star, not too shabby. Boom, 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 boom. All right, up against a three rogue player with a three star poppy. Shouldn't be too bad. Now the T-Hex is actually kind of a unit. It's not just this like dead weight because we've got the 10 charges or 10 power, I should say. So, but again, the six filth over now is just going to be giving us tons of rewards here. And it's kind of cool because we have both the void summon and the T-Hex, so. A lot of summons on our board, which is kind of fun. By the way, you should try killing a Baron with a T-Hex and see what happens. All right, bunch of gold from our bonus orb here. Hopefully Echo can carry us. Four Bruiser for some good front line. I think the biggest weakness right now is our back line. You know, we're still running a one-star Malzahar, which isn't great, but... Is what it is. All right. Do, 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 do. Up against the other T Hex player. Their T Hex is at 15, so they're doing better than we are. But I don't think they have six pilt over, so. Echo doing his best here. Echo's a really powerful unit, by the way, because he can undo some of the damage he's taken. Uh, it's looking pretty close. Again, if we lose, though, that's fine. That's just more charges for our T-Hex. But nope, looks like we're going to win this. Just barely. In a way, it's kind of bad. We're powering up them. Hilarious, by the way, that they chose the exact same augments we did. So clearly they were going for the same thing we were. <laughs> but right now they're not at six built over. So, okay. All right, what's in our orb? Another 10 gold, feels good. Should be able to go to eight pretty quick. Yeah, feels good. Somebody at 100 health, by the way, so we should be concerned about that 100 health player. If I were good, I would have scouted them and seen what they're playing, so. But we've got a really good front line now. Katarina, that could give us two rogue. Nope, throw it away. All right, fine. Got a dragon claw there if we want it. Uh, this was before we fixed it where it was giving loot on PVE, so we had to fix that. Should not be giving loot on PVE. All right, Bloodthirster for Echo to keep him alive as he heals, not bad. Ionic Spark to help out the Echo's damage, nice. Cool. Yeah, once Legends are enabled, the University will be a popular one because you'll get to play the Prismatic that you chose. So, kind of fun. All right, there's a Scion on the other side. This person has one of those leveling up augments, but overall, we're still very rich. Six Piltover doing some crazy work here. So again, if you love Fortune, Piltover, very much like that. And like I said, I didn't even play it well this time. Imagine getting like a nine or 10 loss streak and then cashing out. It can do some pretty wild stuff. So I played it kind of poorly. By the way, there's no game sound on this recording because I was actually playing this recording as we were meeting with the balance team and talking and watching it. So I was multitasking. So yeah. All right, not today, not good. Scope weapons, not good. Final grab bag, eh. Salvage bin, not really. Three's a cat, I only have two, three, ugh. These are not good augments. We low rolled six augments here, so this is pretty bad. I've been meaning to test Indomitable Will to become CC immune for like someone like Echo, so I think I'm gonna take Indomitable Will here, but these are really bad choices. This is not what we were looking for. All right, Indomitable Will is going to be our test point. Get another 10 gold. And so again, six Piltover giving 10 gold a turn or an item component a turn. Pretty wild here. Ah, yes, yeah, seven Piltover, Mort. That'll change things. Should have put in the Katarina for two rogue. 
All right, our opponent is level nine. They went hedge fund, tons of gold, tons of gold. Uh, definitely a lot of players on PB have been ultra greeting with hedge fund. It's been pretty fascinating to watch. But again, losses just make us stronger right now. So yeah, you can see here, hedge fund, balance budget, return on investment. So lots of gold here. Echo, don't die. Ooh, nice. Again, we're okay with a loss here. Especially like a two unit loss. Yeah, not bad, not bad. And again, losses count as double when you have six pilt over. So that's good. You can see we got four charges there. Got a glove, okay. There you go, two rogue. Nice. Oomch, 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 oomch. From here, we probably should just go fast nine and find legendaries. Because um, again, even if we lose, as long as we stay above like 30 health. So. And again, the T-Hex has two range, so you can put it like this and it's fine. There's somebody with a weaker version, only 11 power, ours is 14. Yeah, again, hedge fund, balance budget, money, money. Yeah, just, these players, man, they love their money. All right, it's gonna be a win, so we're only gonna get another one loss cash out here. Yeah, again, I could have just, I wish I'd played this so much better for you guys so we could have seen what, you know, like a, a 12 charge conversion is, but, ah, well. Still fun to high roll this many emblems. But finding a way to Lost Streak would have been so much better. Oh, well. Carousel-wise, Thieves' Gloves is always an option. There's an Ari. We could start building around a late-game Ari with Sorcerer. What are we going to do here? Okay. Okay. Something like a redemption, probably, for some frontline power. Now, the thing to note, by the way, is every 10 power on the T-Hex is going to power it up. So if we can get to 20, that's going to mean we're going to get a new ability on that T-Hex. Uh, 10 gold. We also have a Kaisa. Uh, really should be playing the Kaisa over the Malzahar here. If I don't buy this Kaisa, I'm a silly person. Looks like I'm going to be a silly person. Hmm. This Mort guy, man. Making all these YouTubers and not uh, not even playing it ideally. It's a shame. It's a shame. Again, our third augment was really disappointing, though. So, on the other side, we do see the six Void. You get that Rift Herald that's really strong. Thankfully, Echo on the back line with that Rogue buff. Hopefully, he can take down the Kaisa. Nope, misses the Kaisa. Doesn't quite finish the job. Now it's on the Malzahar, though. You got the Kaisa low, at least. Looks like we're gonna lose this, but again, losing is fine. It's just gonna power up our T-Hex more. Count is double. So next win should give us our 20 power T-Hex. Ooh, Belveth. Okay, well, if I'm not gonna play Kaisa, I at least need to play Belveth. I have to play Velveth. Come on now. Okay, do that for now. That way we don't waste an item slot on our Belveth. Belveth being our first legendary here. Now, Belveth is a really powerful champion because she doesn't really have traits that make her strong. So her base ends up being very strong by herself. And she can use a lot of items. She can use tank items. She can use offensive items like AD items, attack speed items. So there's a lot of different ways to build Belveth. Now, itemless Belveth, eh, not that great. But we are up against a Shadow Isles player who does have a lot of uh, three stars. So we might lose this. And again, if we do, no big deal. It just powers up the T-Hex. Yep, looks like another loss. Okay. Three unit loss, not bad, not bad. Okay. 
The nice thing here is we've been getting so much gold from our uh, six Piltover, though, that we'll be very quickly nine here. Should be very, very quickly nine. Okay, items-wise, we're looking for something for Belveth. Honestly, Last Whisper wouldn't be bad either, but... RFC's not the worst. We go Last Whisper, Ginsu... Yeah, so there, we got plenty of gold here. We're gonna go Ginsu. We're gonna roll, try to find some stuff here. Ari. Okay. Never hurts to play an Aatrox. There's the Belveth. So many pairs of legendaries here. But we did not hit a... Si so we have two Aris, two Cassantes. Two Belveths. Yeah, not quite what we were looking for, but... You'll notice our T-Hex is at nine charges, so pretty strong here. Hopefully we can get a win and cash that into a T-Hex power, because he'll be pretty strong at the next level. Could also sell the Echo, move the items, if we wanted to take out six Piltover now. Although, did Echo do work? All right, looks like we win this. Nice, Echo doing big damage there with that Archangels. All right, so that's gonna turn our T-Hex into quite a bit of power here. Oof. That Echo Champion, is that balanced? All right, so now if we look at our T-Hex, that's a 27 power T-Hex. We're definitely getting up there. We're definitely getting really strong here. I don't wanna waste an Ionic Spark on Cassante. But giving him some tank items is going to make him pretty hard to deal with. I like the Guard Breaker here. I probably should be taking Jace for Orianna for a long time ago now. Sell the Ari. Oh, we do hit the two-star Belveth. We just need to get some healing on this Belveth. That's the big thing here. I really think it's time to get rid of the Rogues, put the Bloodthirster on Belveth, move some of those other items onto something in like the back line, like a Rise. But now you can see this T-Hex, by the way, has that new laser, has some big damage here. Yeah, T-Hex now really strong by itself here. So we've got a bunch of summons. Now we could sell the T-Hex for quite a bit of loot here, but at this point, since we're playing Piltover, may as well just keep it for a very powerful unit on our team. So, Echo carrying a lot of the weight, Cassante did some work, Beldeth did some work there. So overall, not bad. Not really hitting the healing item we're looking for. Okay, I should be playing the Heimerdinger here, if nothing else. Again, this Mort guy getting too dizzy. Come on, Mort, figure it out. Oh, rolls past Heimerdinger. Okay, this guy is trolling. This guy is trolling. There's the four bruiser back at least. But it still was trolling by selling a Heimerdinger over an Oriana. Come on. Come on. All right. Up against the uh, Rift Herald here. But again, our T-Hex is at 28. We're getting close to 30, which is another really important break point. Yeah, there's that laser. Woo! Woo! T-Hex power. A little too strong in my opinion, so. Woo! Yeah, T-Hex top damage. Crazy. Okay, looking for a good item here. Unfortunately, no healing items. We could go Edge of Night on Belveth, since Belveth has enough healing through her uh, Empress trait. But instead, what are we going to do? Nope, that got taken. Blue buff? All right, blue buff Ari, maybe. We're getting down to top five in the lobby, though. And one of those players was that player that like full greeted to level nine. So they're pretty strong. Oh, blue buff Cassante here is also a good option. Yeah, there you go. 
Sunfire, we do need some anti-heal. Put that on Cho'Gath, okay. Come on. Another Belveth, cool. Yeah. And again, at any point we could take out six Piltover, go down to three Piltover, which I probably should have done by now. That way we could take out, you know, the Echo, the Orianna, the Katarina. But this Cassante is going to do some big work here. We do get Shrouded here, and you can see the opponent just really strong. But, oh, that T-Hex laser just did some uh, some big damage. Woo! Woo, that T-Hex laser. Okay, T-Hex MVP there for sure. Knocking out the other Piltover player. And that's going to put us at 30. So, again, another break point for the T-Hex here. Try getting up to like 60 or 70, by the way. The T-Hex can get pretty wild. <coughs> so, another Ari. Some more gold. Come on, hit something good. But yeah, you can see now the T-Hex has the three-star border. So, there's the Heimerdinger. Heimer, Heimer. Oh my god, this Mort guy keeps almost passing on Heimerdinger. Put in the Heimer. Oh my god, this Mort guy. This Mort guy, man. Either way, big T-Hex. Up against Rogues and Shadow Isles. We've seen this fight before. Last time it went well, though. Cassante already knocking out the uh, Maokai. Yep. Big laser here. Our T-Hex is almost down, though. Looks like we're okay. Oh, Cassante with the knockout. Let's go. All right, down to two. Okay, Heimer 2. If we don't play a Heimer 2, I have questions. Put in the Heimer... Oh my god, this Mort guy. Ah, yes. Keep your turret up front. Keep Orion... Yeah, okay. Come on now. Come on now, this guy... Well, at least now we can finally put the Bloodthirster on. Uh, <laughs> Cassante knocks the dragon out instantly, by the way. It's always funny. We can get the Bloodthirster on Belveth. Ooh, Goldenator. Three Goldenator is my favorite, by the way. But again, maybe don't put the turret in the front line. Ah, yes, double Sunfire. Even when he's high rolling, this Mort guy playing pretty silly. Rise over Katarina. Yep. Okay, keep six built over in. Up against the Void player here. Cassante doing work. Again, that turret positioning, very, very poor. But now that Belveth has some healing. Oh, Belveth's dead. Never mind. Some really rough turret positioning. I should have positioned better here. Their Belveth looking really strong. They've also got Aatrox. Aatrox very powerful here. So we're going to have to position a lot better if we want to win this. So, unfortunately we lost that. We can see the damage on Aatrox here. Generally in this build, five costs were all way too strong. Okay, there's triple Goldenator. That's fun. I'm still running an Orianna for some reason. If anyone can explain that to me, let me know. Guard breaker on. Uh... There we go. Okay, we can at least do that for some extra attack speed. That's better. Belva three. I don't know. All right, better positioning this time. Better pizza, Papa John's. Let's we'll see how it goes this time. And again, our uh, our T hex just getting stronger every fight. Woo. Belveth doing work. Oh, good T-Hex laser. Nice. Yeah, so now we're being carried. And this is kind of the fun of, of uh, Piltover, by the way, is that you don't have to cash it out, right? Like, I could sell this T-Hex and get a pretty decent amount of loot. But instead, I can uh, keep it in. 
you know, and have this big giant T-Hex. So pretty cool that there's two different ways to play it. A lot of fun. Okay, six bell this. I don't need Nionia emblem. Five Piltover. Oh, so this is a display bug, by the way. Oops. But I still technically have six Piltover. So. Whew. That damage. Oh, there's a Goldenator proc from the turret. It's always fun. Looking pretty good here. Feels like we're going to win this. We're scaling up, getting our legendaries. And like I said, I think this person's realizing the inevitableness of their defeat. You can see them typing in chat. They're getting a little grumpy. Either way, fun high roll, 37 power on the T-Hex. I think you guys can get higher though. I, uh, I think we'll see a lot higher T-Hexes as time goes on and people figure out how to play it, so. We'll have to see. Do we get to see one more fight? And... Nope. They surrendered. Trying to get a three star. So there you go. High roll. Six pilt over. Hope you enjoyed. Take it easy.